What's up, YouTube? King Lo Champ here, and welcome to Season 2 of the PMU, the Pokemon Masters United League. Um, the first season was cut short, unfortunately. I do have a battle that I'll probably put up um, just randomly. It was a very good battle that I had from, like, week 6 or something. But, unfortunately, some teams dropped out of the league, so we weren't able to continue. Um, so we picked up a few more coaches... And we decided to start completely fresh instead of giving them teams that they don't really want anyway. So we redid the entire draft. I never did a draft video on my previous team. But now I figured since we started fresh, I have time to do all this stuff. I might as well make the draft video. So this is going to be our draft analysis. I'm not going to go too in-depth on why I picked these mons. Because um, like I've said it before, I'm not the biggest Wi-Fi battler. But I've, I had some reasoning for the majority of these mods, so I'll try to explain it as best as I can. So, let's get right into it. Um, this is in no particular order. I was going to do draft order, but I would have to go back like 3,000 messages just to find out what I decided, or like what I picked in what order. Um, so these I'm just going to do in a random order. So, I decided, I think this was like my third or fourth pick. Um, I decided on Raikou. I wanted Mon that was fast. The problem with my team in last season was we had no Mons that I think broke 100 speed, which is bad. Um, it put me in a couple bad situations. I almost had to, like, I've thought about running, like, Trick Room teams every week last season. So, Raikou was a good choice for me. I figured a strong special attacker, you know, he's fast, he's got pretty decent special attack or special defense and I can run him many different ways um, that's that's the plan at least so Raikou it's not our first draft pick but it's the first one we get over so second draft pick as I load this up is actually make a guard of wire so we go down just a little bit far so I picked Mega Gardevoir. I believe this was my very first pick, and I wanted a different Mega other than Mega Scizor. I love Mega Scizor as a Pokemon, but almost every time I brought it, it always got burned, and that really annoyed me. Um, and I think it, it would just happen in the worst times where I know that the person's going for Scald. I need to switch out or so I can actually do something to the Pokemon using Scald. And whenever I s tried to switch into Scizor, trying not to get burned on the 30%, it always happened. So, I decided to pick up uh, Mega Gardevoir, because I figured the special attack is amazing. Um, we, these two mons, the first one and this one, have great special attack, so I wanted to do that. I mean, Hyper Voice is going to do a lot to almost everything. Um, it has pretty good coverage. Um, when it comes to other moves, Pixelate's great ability for Hyper Voice and some other stuff. And I also have a couple options on what I want to run on this one as well. So, Mega Gardevoir is going to be our Mega for this season. Probably going to bring her almost every week and it should be a good time. So let's go into another, um, I think this might have been our second pick. I think Conkelder was our very second pick. Um... Not, at this point, I wanted something that hit hard. Um, I was looking at the tier list. Um, we're doing a GBA style league, so it's point based, not like the UCL where it's like three from each category. Um, so I wanted to get something else from OU, or I guess this guy's Yu-Yu. Um, I wanted to get something else that had a good amount of um, strength, and I wanted a knockoff user. I wanted something that can have priority and something that can get health back through Drain Punch. And Guts is always helpful, especially I won't have to worry about getting burned. I can run Guts. I can run Iron Fist if I want to just run punching moves. And if I want to run Sheer Force with like, um, I don't know if Sheer Force and Extra Belt work together, but if I wanted to use Sheer Force and Expert Belt together, I don't see why I couldn't do that. I don't, I don't know if I can though. Like, I don't know if that works. But I can run this thing with Assault Vest, Leftovers, you know, just give it a Flame Orb off the start so I don't have to worry about trying to get someone to use a status effect on me. And then a returning member, Chandelure, 
I knew I needed to pick this thing up. I think I let it go to like the fourth or fifth round, but I really wanted Chandler. I love putting Choice Scarf on Chandler. It hits so hard with its special attack. And I mean, there's not too many sets to run with this thing, but having Choice Scarf, not many things can outspeed it unless they're Scarf themselves. I think it gets to 280 something in speed when it has scarf and um, all the speed so I'm going to do a team prep video for this week one battle and I'll show like the team and stuff and I'll show like explain why I picked Chandelure and um, like what kind of stuff outspeeds and whatnot so I can run Chandelure with lots of speed and I also can actually run this thing kind of bulky um, I have seen that before where people run it bulky and then run like Will-O-Wisp, Pain Split, and stuff like that. So that's not a bad option either. And then I think at this point, I think those are one of my top picks. But at this point, I realized that, I didn't realize, but I knew I needed to get some bulk. And these next couple mons are my bulk mons. So right here, we got Melodic, um, or Melodic, I don't know which one people say, but... I, I like the special defense. The special defense was going to be helpful. Um, I believe it should get Scald. I don't, uh, yeah, it gets Scald. So, like, a move that I can run would be Scald, Ice Beam, Haze, Recover. That's, you know, just basic. But it has Marvel scare, Scale, which is always helpful. Um, I've always kind of had troubles battling Molo decks. And I wanted to branch out. A lot of these mons I've never used before. Um, my season one team was more of stuff I felt comfortable with, but now that I have a little more experience in the past couple weeks, I'm feeling more confident in my battling ability. So I drafted some mons that I've never used before, and I think that um, we should be able to use them pretty well. So that special defense, super high. Um, HP is good. You know, I can tank a lot of special attack hits. I can put all my investments in the defense and just be an overall wall. And I think it's overall a good pick and kind of helps out with the team um we got you know chandelure with the fire raikou with the electric him with the water i was thinking about getting a grass type and you'll see i think my last pick was a grass type and i'll show you that in a while it came from nu but my another uu pick that i picked i need something for stealth rocks i at this point i think i realized that i have nothing that learns defog or rapid spin so magic bounce is always good synchronize is also good um guard of wire before it mega evolves gets synchronized so if you know that's also a helpful ability and and espion gets pretty good bulk as well so um we should we should be good there. Pretty speedy, 110. Um, like I said, my previous team, Zapdos, had 100 base um, speed, so I just wanted some more speed. So we got Raikou, that's pretty speedy. Gardevoir, Espeon, you know, all above 100, or all at 100 or above 100 speed. So I really wanted that. Now, for a physical bulky mon, I decided to go with an RU mon. I decided to go with um, Cofagrius or Cofagrigus. I don't know how other people say it. I think I say Cofagrigus more. But, um. Look at that defense. 145, that's insane. Um, if I really wanted to, I can run a Trick Room set. I probably won't run Trick Room at all this season. I have some mons that I'd be able to do it with, but other than that, I don't think I'd want to. But being able to pretty much take almost any hit, I can run Assault Vest to get the special defense up farther so it can match the defense. I can run Shadow Ball. Um, if I'm not running Assault Vest, if I'm just running Leftovers, I'll run Shadow Ball, like Haze to get rid of any um, stat inflictions. Uh, Will-O-Wisp, and there's another move that I was looking at him for. But yeah, so I wanted him for his defensive bulk. I thought that was really good. Now, the very last pick that I had in the draft, the grass type that I was talking about, is Cray Dilly. Um, 
When I did play Wi-Fi battles, I always did NU. NU always was the one that interests me. I loved using the mons that like no one else would use. Um, but Cradilly, I needed a grass type. Um, this also gives me the rocks that I can set up. Um, I don't think, no, none of my other Pokemon got rocks. I only had Espeon that can throw rocks back. Um, but I just wanted something that's grass type, set up rocks. You know, it's bulky so it can stay in there and take hits. It gets recover, you know, gets toxic. Uh, has Storm Drain, which is going to be good against water types, um, like Quagsire or Seismitoad, any of those. So that will be helpful. And then another Mon that I decide to get for kind of a bulk and special attack. Um, this is my... This might have been my second OU pick. I don't remember. Um, but... Magneton is very good against our Guard of Wire, so I wanted to snatch that up so no one else could get it. It has Sturdy, so that's good for taking a hit and, you know, being able to dish one back out. This thing can be ran Choice Scarf, which would be like our Chandelure running Choice Scarf. It's not the speediest at start, but it should outspeed almost everything that doesn't have um, a Choice Scarf itself. So I think that should be helpful. You know, being able to Volt Switch. That's another thing. I have Raikou that can Volt Switch. Um, Mag Magnezone can Volt Switch. Does Espeon get U-Turn? I don't know why I think Espeon might get U-Turn. I don't think he does. Um, no. Does not get U-Turn. Um, where are we at? Magnezone. I just showed you my last two months. Um... Gets Volt Switch, that's always good. Um, being able to hit Fairy types with Flash Cannon if Mega Gardevoir gets O-Code by a Magnazone, then using Flash Cannon on other Mons. I don't think Clefable got snatched up in the draft. I was gonna get Clefable if I didn't get Gardevoir. Clefable uh, is one of my favorite Mons, especially once it got fairy typed and it got a little more useful. I just love the moveset that it has and it can be bulky, it can be unaware that can just pass through any stats. So like if something's trying to set up, I can just pass right through it. So Magnezone is a great pickup. Um, if anyone decides to drop one of their OU mons and pick up Clefable, then we'll have Magnezone for that as well. So it'll be a good thing. So coming into some of my, I think these was my third to last pick and then my second to last pick. My third to last pick, I think I was getting sniped a bunch. I wanted to get Skuntank because um, Skuntank was on my team the season before. I appreciated what it did and I enjoyed like the pursuit trapping that I was able to do with it. That's another thing. I don't think I have any pursuit trappers at all. Um, so that's rough. Actually, I think my last bond does. I think my last bond does get pursued. But we got Dredagon. Um, I wanted something that I can run Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin. So I would be able to hit things hard, but if it, if I just run like a bulky um, Dredagon and just kind of wear down anything that has skill link, kind of like uh, Megalopony, anything that wants to use Fake Out, um, Dredagon's good for anything knockoff users like if it wants to knock off my rocky helmet it's still going to take that um big damage and then i don't remember if breloom got picked up but a uh, breloom wouldn't get affected by it because it uses bullet seed but anything that uses like multi-hit um moves um mincino mincino would um does not want to deal with the dragon and i definitely it, it has Sucker Punch, okay. Sucker Punch, Gunk Shot, so it can deal. It has pretty good move coverages, to be honest. So, I thought Dredagon was a good pickup. Um, I think I had troubles with it last, last season. And then, to round it out, I needed something to get rid of rocks. Other than Espeon, Chandelure is really the only one that kind of has a problem with rocks. All my other Pokemon are pretty okay with it. It'll only It's not super effective against them. Um, so I brought Zatu, who also has Magic Bounce, which would be helpful, but can also run Defog if, um, stuff gets, stuff gets set up. It has Defog, so we can get rid of it. It has U-Turn, um, 
It has quite a good move pool, to be honest. Um, I'd probably run U-turn, defog almost every time I brought this Mon. But I thought for my last NU pick, I figured I probably should get a Rapid Spinner or a Defogger, and I found the Defogger in our Zatu. So that's going to round it up for our team. So we have Raikou, uh, Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir, Conkeldur, Chandelure, Milotic, Espeon, which is all the way down here, Espeon, Cofagrius, uh, Cradilly, Magnazone, Dredagon, and Zatu. That's going to be your Baltimore Blast Burns. Did I mention that we're the Baltimore Blast Burns? I mean, the logo has probably been in the bottom corner the entire time. But Baltimore Blast Burns, we're looking to make a better season, better season than last season. Um, we only won one game, and that one game I haven't even put up on my channel yet. That's going to be the one that I was saying that was close, but no spoilers, even though I just kind of spoiled it. But it was a really good battle. Um, and I think I'm going to hop right into doing the team building explanation for week one and show who I'm going up against. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out everybody.